Hey everybody, I am coming out here to my little collection of generators. And as you can see here, I've got the two kids out here. They're working, Kieran and Daniel. Um, they're working on this. So they're out here grinding this down to get it redone. So um, they're going to show you what we've got. I have these generators. This one could be referred to as Papa Bear, and that one Mama Bear, and this one Baby Bear. And then I've got this little one sitting over here. I'd say that's the neighbor's kid. He's kind of hard to deal with. So, well, of course, that one could be Mama Bear. If your name is Earl and you're a little fella that gets beat up by your wife, and that would be Papa Bear. And that'd be Baby Bear you're paying child support on. So, here's what we got. A 2,000-watt sandstorm. We have a Sportsman 4,000-watt sandstorm. And over here we have a dual fuel champion now this one over here's got roughly about 300 hours on it this one's only got about 60 and this one since we've been taking it on a lot of trips it's got about 150 no problems whatsoever so if you want to know where they come from look below the video and of course i'll put a link to each one of these the best price best places i have found and if you want to know about this thing this is a 1967 honda um er i believe it is 400 so it's basically a 300 watt with a 400 starting surge pretty much don't do much this one here i've had for quite a few years and we had a champion cover on it so i want you to look here this is a sportsman cover now uh two years ago i bought a sportsman cover and put on my generac and it looks like the day it's new the champion cover two years old is rotted to pieces I had one I put on this one two trips out in the wind tore it to shreds this little one right here I had a cover on it a real nice Kipor uh, K-I-P-O-R lasted a month so I'm going to show you here the best quality I figured out my both of my two small medium-sized generators using sportsman covers all through the winter all through last summer no damage so I'm going to show you the best ones to get and if you want to look below the video I'll put the links to these they don't sell them everywhere so they're kind of hard to come by but you're luck you're looking at about 20 bucks 15 dollars and 10 dollars and they're damn well durable very good UV protection so the kids are going to unbag these and they're going to put these on each one of these generators and you're going to see size wise that's what we're working with in this video is to show you the sizes so this is a 9,000 watt generator. So a, a eight to 12,000, this one will fit. And this one here, hold on Daniel. This one here a, is a uh, large cover and it will fit a 3,500. So if you got a 3,500 generator up to a 6,000, this one will fit that, the large. And then this little one over here it will fit the little 1200 watt generators up to about the 25 2800 watt generators very nicely so this one here's a 2000 watt sitting under that and they have a little cinch that's on them and you can find the little cinch cinch ties in the, so the little cinch ties will tighten them up all the way around the base you see that and they fit very nicely and this one here has the double on it so you squeeze that and it'll tighten up all the way across you see that it's nice on there now they're both going to put this one on the 9000 kind of packaged pretty good huh all right so i'm going to give you kind of a close-up of the material it's made out of this is different. The, what do they call that? Denier nylon or something um, with a film in between two layers of this. So it's quite strong. So you'll see it in here. This is the inner layer and this is the outer layer. The outer layer is the material layer with a very heavy thing. You can see the almost the UV in it, the reflecting that's in there. So reflecting, I guess you call it. So now they're going to put it on. And the reason I'm saying about these is you want to keep water, uh, dust a lot. Dust is bad for these. Um, storage dust, you know, they're blowing in from driveways, from gravel, rock. 
getting into the windings of these generators just destroy them. So you wanna keep all that out of them. And in this one's case here, you tuck up over the wheels on both sides and like she did over there. So, and then they'll tighten it up. There is, uh, on each co opposite corner, there'll be a little uh, rope to tighten them up. And when they cinch these up, you'll see that it fits pretty nice. They don't come off in the wind very easy. So the, uh, what is that, the extra large will fit the 9,000. So you can basically say about an 6,500, 6, it'll fit loose. A 9,000, it fits pretty good. A 12,000, it, it fits great. So that's what you're looking at. Keep all your generators protected. Don't ever leave them to the elements. Um, and the good thing about these is they do breathe. So gas fumes and stuff won't collect up inside of there, even if you have a little gas in them. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, this one here is going back out on the job, but that one there is uh, 50, what, two years old? There you go, guys. Get a cover for your generators to protect them. And you can leave them outside without fear. Y'all be good.